Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 through 41. Jesus is talking to us about his second coming and compares it to the days of Noah. Let's read. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. This is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left. So Jesus says at his second coming, at his return, It will be similar to the days of Noah. The world will be living along with no expectation of God doing anything, and suddenly judgment will come. Suddenly the flood came. When when Jesus returns, it will be a time of judgment for those in rebellion against him, but also a time of deliverance. As in Noah, his family was saved in the ark by the grace of God, and those who believe in Jesus will be saved by the power of the king when he returns. I want you to know something interesting about this passage. It talks about those being taken. Notice it says two men are in the field, one will be taken, one left. Two women at the gr- grinding at the hand mill, one taken and the other left. What, what does this mean? Now there's been a, a popular interpretation that this refers to a secret coming of Jesus before the great distress or before the tribulation and, and those folks who believe are, are taken away. Uh, and those who do not believe are left behind. There was actually a, a famous series of books by that name. But unfortunately, that is not what the passage says. This is not referring to some secret catching away of believers before the tribulation begins. This is referring to what happens at the second coming. They've noticed all through the uh, Matthew 24, Jesus has said, after the distress of those days, there will be a very public demonstration of the sun returning. Now, compares it to the days of Noah. Notice he says that when the flood came, the flood came and took them all away. When the flood came, it took them all away. Who was taken away in the flood? Those who were in rebellion against God, those who would not believe in God, those who were trapped in sin, they were taken away in judgment. So the coming of the Son of Man Two men in the field, one taken, one left behind. Two women in the hand mill, one taken, one left behind. To be taken away is to be judged. Those who are taken away are the evil ones who when the king returns, they will be taken away in judgment, just like the flood took away the rebellious of Noah's day. So when the king returns, those who are on the side of the Antichrist, those who are in rebellion against God, they will be taken away in judgment. And the ones who are left, the ones who are left, will be the ones who receive the kingdom of Jesus because they've been faithful and they've been loyal. So this passage is often misunderstood. It's not referring to some secret catching away of believers before the tribulation. No, it refers to what happens on the day of judgment. When the son returns, he takes away those who are in rebellion and he receives to himself those who are part of the kingdom and they inherit the fullness of the kingdom of God. So see, in truth, we who are believers, we kind of want to be left behind when Jesus returns. The ones who are taken away are the ones who are being judged because they were in rebellion. The ones who are left behind are those who welcome the king and then enter into his fullness and into the full kingdom of God when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. So when the king returns, he comes to judge the rebellious and take them away into judgment. But he comes to exalt those who believe in him, place them in their rightful face, rightful place as members of his kingdom and his dominion. Amen and amen. Tomorrow we'll continue looking at Jesus' thoughts about the second coming, especially how he tells us to keep watch. But that'll be for tomorrow. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time for our five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew.